Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy and development in Nigeria and around the world. In this video we are going to talk about the controversy surrounding Boborishki and the Nigerian prisons and the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. But we are going to peg it on the statement from the prison service. Now before we go further on this, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video, because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours. Now, if you look at your screen, you see some of my books. These books are available on Amazon. If you type the title of any of these books and the author name on your Google space, it will take you straight to Amazon. In fact, somebody told me that if you just type the Igbo phenomenon, even without putting the author name, just go to your Google space, type the Igbo phenomenon, it will take you straight to one of my books, one of my best-selling books, the Igbo phenomenon. Now, the issue we are going to talk about right now has, was also the kind of things that the, I wrote about in the making of a fantastically corrupt country. It's one of my books on Amazon. It, it's a book that details corruption in Nigeria. It went through the through research, I was able to get to the root of corruption in Nigeria. Right from even Nigeria as a nation was formed. So there are traditional beliefs and ways of life of Nigerians that encourages corruption. Now, this issue we are discussing about Bob Rishkin, if it is true, boils down to corruption. Now, what is the story that is trending? The story that is trending is that the the Nigerian uh, prison service have suspended some officers over Bobo Risky. In a statement that was released on Thursday by the Civil Defense, Correctional, Fire and Immigration Board, the federal government confirmed the suspension of, of the officers following a viral video following a viral video over alleged misconduct. The statement was signed by Jafaru Ahmed, who said that the officers were suspended to give room for thorough investigation. Now, this matter came to the fore as a result of viral video that was shared by social media activist, very dark man, where it was alleged that Bob Risky was given preferential treatment, that he wasn't, that he wasn't allegedly in the prison, that he was, they, they rented a flat for him, while all of us thought that he was in the prisons because of corruption in Nigeria, alleged corruption. Now, we used to hear that things like that happen in Nigeria, that some people, you think they're in prison. They're not in prison. Some of them are living in guest houses and all that. We used to hear all those kind of things. We used to dismiss it as uh, some of the fairy tales about Nigerian corruption. But it appears that the, the allegation was weighty enough for the 
Nigerian prison service to say that they have to get to the root of the matter. Also, the, the federal government, the National Assembly, is also investigating a matter that has to do with Bob Risky, Bob Risky and the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, where there were allegations about uh, transactions between some EFCC officers and Bob Risky, which I don't want to bother myself talking much about it because these are serious allegations against an institution like the EFCC that was established to fight corruption. Uh, but the important thing is that this matter is being taken serious by the institutions concerned. I know that the EFCC chairman is also setting up uh, uh, a kind of group within the office to investigate the authenticity of that allegation. Now the prison, they are doing the same thing. But it's just to remind of all of us that Nigeria is facing serious corruption problem. And uh, this corruption problem has been the undoing of our nation. The reason why we are a nation that have not been able to fulfill its potential, despite our potentialities, is because of corruption. Uh, corruption is working on four legs. We used to think that PDP was the worst in corruption. But if you look at our rating by Transparency International since the APC took over, corruption has been much more prominent, much more swept under the carpet, under the APC, than under the PDP. If you are in doubt, go and check Nigeria's corruption rating since 2015 and compare it with what it was under the PDP. Right now, we are probably the most corrupt country in West Africa, in West Africa, and we are among the, the most corrupt countries in the world. And that was why a former British Prime Minister, David Cameron, described Nigeria as a fantastically corrupt country, which gave me the title of my book, The Making of a Fantastically Corrupt Country. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, I hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video, because when you like it, God will rank it hard and recommend it. I recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.